How's it going? Just wanted to go over a quick fix that I'm going to try out uh, with the dinette table. Um, if you have a dinette table, then you know the big issue with the cushion sliding in and out. Is it end of the world? No. But is it annoying and inconvenient having to reset these cushions all the time? Yeah. It gets old fast. So, um, I came up with, after reading some forums and seeing a lot of do's and don'ts and uh, mishaps and whatnot, um, I decided to go with this right here. It's uh, the Husky Multipurpose Non-Slip Pads. Uh, it's the same, uh, same idea as the ones that go in your kitchen. The reason why I went with this is because it's uh, 22.5 inches wide, so that's wide enough to kind of cover the whole cushion area. And it's 48 inches, or sorry, 86 inches long. So I can cut this in half and put one on each side. Uh, it was nine something, uh, then plus tax, it's like a hair over 10 bucks for this one roll. So the length why, is the reason why I went with that. Uh, versus the uh, ones in the for the kitchen, they're usually only 12 inches or so. Uh, so this gives more coverage. And another thing I'm gonna use is this Aero PT-50 staple gun that I purchased as well, not uh, at the same time, but recently, um, to fix some trim around the uh, travel trailer that I noticed was uh, pulling away from the wall. Um, this was right around 30 something bucks. Uh, I want to say like 32, maybe 34 bucks. Um, it holds all different size staples. Um, great little gun. Uh, does little, you know, little quick jobs. Um, I'm going to staple this down and uh, hopefully that'll stay and keep it from moving and help keep the cushion from moving around. All right, I'm going to get to it. All right, so I'm going to take this cushion out so we can see what we have to work with here. So you got this plywood. As you can see, I tried to do the uh, Velcro down at the end. Did not work. Was a big waste. Luckily, I had the uh, Velcro. I didn't go buy Velcro, but it wasn't a waste. So, unless you're getting Velcro, unless you're getting Velcro sewn into the cushion, don't waste your time. It it doesn't hold on the the material. Now, obviously, it holds on the wood pretty decently. But on the material, it just it was a big waste. So unless you're gonna sew it on, I'd recommend not even doing it. I would love to say that I'm gonna do this all high speed and measure. But honestly, I'm just gonna lay it on one end. Right there that'll show you that that's folded over twice, you know, or folded over. So it's definitely long enough and this is a this is a full four adult person dinette uh, I think they say 44 inches something like that um, I'll get a tape measure I know I have one in tape measure all right stop being lazy Jimmy oh well glad I did a tape measure booth is 40 inches yep so the booth is 40 inches um, from wall to trim uh, so anyways but regardless it's a 40 inch uh, four adults can sit in here and sit comfortably so uh, and I have excess you can see so if you had a 44 inch you definitely would have the ability to use just this we do this up it's another Ten inches, so it'd be good. All right, go ahead and cut this. Uh, multiple angles here, um, and no, this video wasn't done earlier in the the year. Uh, it's actually cold outside in August. Yeah, uh, it's new to me too. Um, but anyways, anywho, uh, let's get back I'll to this. Cut this out. No, I'm not uh, measuring this for 
making sure it's perfect or anything. I think uh, just getting it by the ballpark, put that over there, is enough to, and a little hangover wouldn't hurt a bit. Alright, so. You see that now see that mine has a little hole there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a little hole there, but uh made it flush with that pretty flush with the board piece and then I hang over just a little bit right there. Uh, hook up you're done pinned every so often and we'll try it out Now, <laughs> on video, it probably looks like I'm being a, a like weirdo, but uh, what I was doing is just pushing down and I'm trying to push out, uh, just you know, like you would if you're sitting down, you know, scooting or anything like that, causing that seat to go out, and it is not moving. Just, it's not moving. Save my life. So I would. Uh, I'd. I'd say this is a win. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go do the other side. And y'all got any comments or anything? Go ahead and put them down in the bottom. And uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully this helps somebody.